Welcome back to Colorado and Company. Training the leaders of our future starts at a very young age, and that's why the Women's Foundation of Colorado was started. Since 1987, it continues to grow while helping to educate women and girls. And here with me today are two members of the foundation, staff CEO Louise Atkinson and program manager Rowena Naidu, as well as Laura Pate, student aide student and former girls grant making participant today. Thanks for coming, ladies. Thank you. Um, let's start with you. Congratulations um, on your new position. Tell me a little bit about your background. My background is a combination of private industry and some leadership positions on nonprofit boards. How many uh, weeks on the job? How long? Two weeks, and Whoa. I'm just amazed. So you are a newbie. Congrats. I'm a newbie, and I'm so proud to be associated with the foundation. Why were you interested in taking this opportunity? Well, the Women's Foundation of Colorado has an incredible reputation in the community, and there's some really important work being done for women and girls throughout the state. I just wanted to be a part of it. And give us an overview of what your organization does. I kind of touched on it a little bit in the introduction. I mean, you give them courage, you give them self-esteem, you teach them how to be a leader. We are dedicated to helping girls and women achieve self-sufficiency. That is our mission. Okay, and some of your key priorities. Well, one key priority is to prevent girls from dropping out of school. In 2009, unfortunately, almost 7,000 girls <gasps> dropped out of school, which is a high number. Is that nationally or in our That's state? That's in our state. Wow, in Colorado? In Colorado. And so it, it continues to be an issue. But on the bright side, we have developed and created a program that it focuses on girls, helping girls, and it's been a tremendous success. Excellent. We have the website at the bottom of the screen. You can contact for more information. Rowena, what program are you involved in? Um, it's called the Girls Grant Making Program, and as Louise mentioned, uh, the girls dropping out of school issue is huge for the Women's Foundation, and so we wanted to really affect change there. Um, and we realized early on that in order to impact girls' lives, we had to find out what girls were saying about the issue. And so we started the Girls Grant Making Program. They're a very competitive statewide um, application and interview process. We invited 10 young ladies to be part of our Girls Grant Making Program. Laura was one of our first participants. And in 2008, we invited them to the foundation and we asked them why they thought that girls were dropping out of school. And their responses were just astounding. Mm -hmm. So much so that it prompted the Women's Foundation to have broader community conversations about the issue. It also prompted us to invest in research to find out specifically why girls were dropping out of school. What were some of their responses? Um, Poverty was mm -hmm. huge, um, lack of support, because girls, they found out, weren't probably getting uh, the support they needed at home or at school, and then they were just falling out. Um, girls having to take care of uh, younger siblings or yeah. older family members was a huge issue. Mm -hmm. So that matched some of the research that we received, and okay. so we started the program. And Laura, tell me more about your involvement with the program. Um, well, I was a member of the original group in 2008, and then I was lucky enough to be invited back as a mentor for the 2009 group as well. What organizations have you decided to grant and why? Um, well, one of the first things that we had to do when we came together as a group was figure out reasons why girls were dropping out of school. Yeah. And so we came up with a huge list, um, which we ended up narrowing down to four main reasons, which were poverty, homelessness, a lack of support, and pregnancy. And so each of the organizations that we eventually granted money to addressed these in some way which became really apparent after we did the site visits especially. Mm -hmm. um, and it was interesting, some of the organizations were from all over the state and others of them focused on specific areas in the city. And each of them really addressed the girls' dropout rate and were really successful with that, which we found to be so powerful. You're so articulate <laughs> and so self-confident at such a young age. Thank so you. So this must have really impacted your life in a very positive way. It did so much. I owe the Women's Foundation so much for making me a more confident person. Um, I think it taught me a lot about the barriers that women face towards becoming economically self-sufficient. For example, I didn't know that for every dollar that a man makes, a woman makes 77 cents. Oh, listen, sister, <laughs> I've known that for years. And I didn't know that. These are things that I didn't know before coming to the yeah. Women's Foundation. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot about the cliff effect, which is another thing really affecting women in the state. And with everything that I learned from the Women's Foundation, it showed me how important it is to keep these girls in school and to really spread this message to my family, to my friends, 
friends, and so that we can all work together to build a solution for these girls. Excellent, excellent. We need more powerful groups of young <laughs> women like you. Rowena, tell me more about the program, how exactly it works. Sure. So the girls go through eight specific training sessions, and these sessions are led by amazing community leaders, women community leaders, and they teach the girls about uh, young women's philanthropy, young women's leadership, young women's advocacy. The girls learn about inclusiveness and diversity, and they also learn how to run for office so that they can take okay. an opportunity with that in the future. Um, but one of the key components is grant making. So the foundation provides the girls with $20,000 that they get to grant out to nonprofit organizations across the state that are dedicated to keeping girls in school. So the girls go out into their communities, they research organizations, they invite those organizations to apply to them for funding. The girls read their applications, they go on site visits, and then they come together and make those funding decisions. Very, very difficult funding <laughs> decisions. Yes. But it's an incredible process. It's an incredible program. It sounds like it. Yeah. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you. And on your new job. Thank you. you have so much to look forward to. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Again, if you'd like to be part of the great accomplishments by the Women's Foundation of Colorado, the annual luncheon is November 4th at the Colorado Convention Center, and it's the largest women's luncheon in the state. Acclaimed actress Alfre Woodard, she's very passionate about mentoring girls and will share some really great stories. You can meet her in person. To learn more, visit WFCO.org. WFCO.org.